This video is brought to you by Squarespace. You probably know the frustration of wanting to use your phone and struggling to get enough bars of reception. In fact, you might even have a corner of your own house where your phone struggles to connect which is really annoying when you've got some cute pictures to send or some quality memes. I'm in the Northern Territory in the heart of Australia and this innovation is one that solves that problem right here in the outback. Australia is a massive country but one that's very urban. Most people live in the cities so the centre of Australia is very sparsely populated. Now this is an issue when we come to the mobile phone network. If you take a look at Australia's most extensive phone network, which is Telstra, we can see near total coverage of 4 and 5G in and around Melbourne. In fact, it doesn't take a huge area to cover a massive percentage of Australia's population with everyone living in such a dense part of the city. But to get everyone is incredibly difficult. Now that's very different when we take a look at Central Australia. And as you can see, huge areas with limited or no signal. And this could be a real issue out here with the outback and desert condition. So this is an initiative from the Centre for Appropriate Technology. And it's an Aboriginal controlled not-for-profit that works on research technology projects that support remote communities. This device is a mobile hotspot. What it does is it extends coverage in these areas with limited reception. So normally a mobile phone or tablet has a range of around 10 to 15 kilometers from the nearest mobile tower. Now the actual quality will depend on signal strength both at the phone and the tower and that itself can depend on the terrain and any obstructions that are in the line of sight. And this device is pretty simple in what it does. It's a one at a time system where you take your phone and place it on the crate this dish is aimed at the nearest or most suitable tower and what it can do is capture more of the signal than your phone's built-in antenna can. It then focuses it on the phone. From there, you just use your phone as normal. You can turn it on or use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot. The technology itself is fairly basic. It's not powered, it's a passive parabolic antenna and there's no moving parts. And it works by amplifying both the received and transmitted signal at the user end. What that does, it increases the range well beyond what you would normally be able to use. The Center for Appropriate Technology has a series of these, some up to 100 kilometers from the nearest tower. And basically you can turn one bar of signal into two or three bars or go from no reception at all to being able to send messages. And it works on any network that's connected to the mobile phone tower and on any device. Hello, hello. Hello. What are you up to? I'm making an educational YouTube video. Ah, cool. How's reception here getting? Uh, not many. So you were getting no reception there or? No, I wasn't getting any there, but I'm getting a little bit here. So it's doing what it's meant to do. <gasps> Technology. Okay. Yeah. Cool. There are at least 45 of these installed across the Northern Territory, generally at campsites or roadside stops or indigenous communities. And if you can see this symbol on the road signs, they let you know that they're there. Basically any site just outside mobile coverage range makes this a really cool option. And the reason why this can be important is that mobile phone coverage can be really patchy across this area and you can go up to 200 kilometers or two hours of driving between towers. The Center for Appropriate Technology has actually improved on this design. They've created an enhanced hotspot that has a second passive element, which is an electrical mirror above the dish, and that reflects an even stronger signal down to the dish, and that increases the potential range. Now this device, of course, doesn't solve all the issues of mobile phone access across the territory, but it does open it up to more places. In fact, there are other solutions that can be used, but generally these need to be powered, they need storage and ongoing maintenance. Because only a small percentage of people out here use satellite phones and use external antennas on their cars or on their devices. Now a new mobile phone tower can cost upwards of $800,000 and with such a limited population, it can be a pretty tough sell. So when you're after a cheap, almost zero maintenance solution, this is a cool option. And the experts agree, and this project's won an industry innovation award. So now if you've got cute photos or hilarious memes or just want to contact your loved ones in remote Australia, now you can. Thanks to technology like this, you can access more websites in more places. And if you do want a website, I recommend today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an easy to use online website building platform. So if you've got an idea or a project or an innovation that you wanna share with the world, I recommend Squarespace. The platform's really easy to use. So if you don't have a great design brain, you can click on a template and customize it however you like. You can change images, colors, fonts, and more. It's also a powerful site. So if you wanna build your website into a community and make money out of it through e-commerce, you can with all of their plugins and services. Squarespace has lots of tools. So it's easy to share your content through online social media platforms, including to Central Australia. And if you're keen to bring your project to life, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Julian O'Shea to get 10% off your first website or a domain. From the Northern Territory, I'm Julian O'Shea.